And now, the story behind the trail, with the author, Robin Bartlett. I joined the 1st Cavalry Division in May 1968. I was a combat infantry platoon leader. I was a first lieutenant, 22 years old, and the second oldest person in my platoon. For the next seven months, I led 28 infantrymen along the demilitarized zone in Vietnam. A combat infantry platoon leader always walks at the front of the platoon. The platoon is typically strung out along a 150 to 200 meter line with 5 to 10 meters between men. It is the worst tactical formation because it poses the highest risk to the men at the front of the line. I carried one of the first Instamatic Kodak autofocus cameras, wrapped in plastic and shoved in a spare ammunition pouch. I took many of the photographs shown in this program. My five remaining months were spent at division headquarters assigned to the 14th Military History Detachment. Our motto was, you fight it, we write it. My job involved going out to the scene after a battle, accompanied by a combat photographer and a combat artist. I interviewed the soldiers, including wounded still in field hospitals. We took photographs, drew maps, and pieced the battle together. Frequently, our report was the first clear indication of what had actually transpired. Even the generals flying overhead in their command and control helicopters did not understand what was happening on the ground, especially when the contact occurred at night. In the spring of 1969, the 1st Cavalry Division was ordered to redeploy. When the Army packs up, it's common to trash all non-essential items. My office or tent was across a dirt road from the PIO, or Public Information Office the group responsible for the division's newspapers and press releases. I noticed a pile of photographs in a barrel and was told it was a slush pile of combat photos that was going to be burned and I could help myself. That is how I came to rescue the photographs in this program. The combat art in this program was also in the slush pile. It was a binder of watercolors, a dummy of a book proposal. The top brass had turned the proposal down because the topic men killed in combat, was considered to be too dark for publication. The combat artists and photographers shown in this program are unknown except that they were assigned to the Public Information Office of the 1st Cavalry Division in March of 1969. My essay was first published in Army Digest magazine in April 1969. My objective in writing The Trail was the same then as it is today, more than 35 years later, to give readers an appreciation for one of the most frightening and horrific experiences any human being can have, to walk point down a trail in combat.